do it. Slow down. Slow down. No, I'm gonna stop you there, Ben. Welcome to this video. What we're dealing with here is how we deal with mistakes. And I've got Belle and she's going through a hazard routine, left turn emerges, and we're going to go through how we're going to approach mistakes. Please remember to like, subscribe. Now, remember, we're approaching it so we can stop. Now then, let's talk about making mistakes. And let's talk, because guess what? You're going to make loads of mistakes when you learn to drive. And it's not a mistake if we can learn from a mistake and change it all around. So, let's discuss how we make mistakes and how we learn from this is the whole basis of coming to a driving instructor rather than being with the school of mum and dad um, let me have a pretend scenario I'm with I'm with a student now mm -hmm. and they're coming down there and they cut the corner turning right so there's my right corner somewhere there it is and they come down here and they cut the corner, turning right and go down there. That's my little car. Like that. School of mum and dad, very good at realising things are wrong. Mm -hmm. And my student turns right and with the school of mum and dad they go, he cut the corner turning right. Yeah, oh dear. And the remedy will be, next time, don't cut the corner turning right doesn't really help much. All you're doing is, is calling out a symptom. Now we need to get to any, any mistake we have, we have to get to the root cause of the problem. And if you snuff out the root cause of the problem, everything else gets corrected, cascading outwards from the root. And the way we do that is by very simply asking the word why until you can't answer it anymore. You get to the root cause of the problem. You can use that for any problem in life. You just say why, 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 until you get to the root cause of the problem. I didn't have my essay in time. Why? Because I didn't have time. Why? because I went out partying last night and had a job. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because I've underestimated, you know what I mean? Yeah. Root cause of the problem. Because I like going out. <laughs> Why do you like going out? You can go on forever, but you get the idea. Now then, um, the cause of this person's problem is they're turning, they're, they're turning right and they've come in too fast. A bit like you did back there. So the only reason physically you can't do that and they've cut the corner turning right. Now a good school of mum and dad will say, Oh gosh, you cut the corner turning right. You were going too fast. Next time, slow down. But we haven't gone far enough. So let's take this conversation, a pretend conversation with my pretend student and get to the root cause of the problem. All right, All right pull over, pull over. You cut the, what did you do there? You cut the corner, great, yeah. Now the first thing to do is scale the problem. If I cut the corner turning right, what could have happened? Yeah, well, a car could have yeah it's a head-on collision. Now, in a scale of one to ten, that's quite that, that's that's a big one. So yeah. we want to we want to resolve it. Yeah. Now, the other thing about the school of mum and dads is they're very good at resolving things that aren't much of a problem. We've been working on a lovely smooth gear change. Well, smooth a bit of a clunky gear change doesn't kill me. It will resolve itself. You know what I mean? So, mm. if we're working a problem, let's work on the big ones first and work our way down the pecking order. Yeah, it's a big problem. Uh, you came too fast. Why were you going too fast? I don't know. Is it all the yeah. answer? I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's try and work it. Let's try and work it out. I've got my writing pad with me. Yeah, I don't think I have. I have got this there. Right, let's work it out. Right, we're coming in too fast. Um, how long does the hazard routine actually? How long does the hazard routine take? Mirror, mirror, signals, position, speed, gear, look, assess, right. decide. From the first mirror to like, right, go, boom, or don't go, stop. How Not long that long, a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah okay. If you're just going like that, and then what, doing mirror, the... Mirror, mirror, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me get my stopwatch out. Yeah. And I'll time it, I'll pretend I'm turning left down here. Okay. Here we go. So, here we go. I'm driving along here, and I'm going to go mirror, mirror, signal, position, off the gas, slowing it down, gear change, look, assess, decide, clear, go. It's about eight seconds. What have we got to do every hazard routine? Mirror, signal, position, speed, gear, look, assess, decide. And that's what we learned last week, wasn't it, essentially, that mm -hmm. routine. Quite a lot going on. Now, here's a bit of a fun fact for you. At th What's the speed limit on this road? Built-up area with streetlights. 
Are you working on your theory test at the moment? Yeah, trying to. So, the real classic question, what's the speed limit if it's built up for? Uh, it's not, is it 20? 130. Is it? Yeah, so if it's built up like this, it less with that. street, like it's 30 miles an hour, unless you're in Wales. Uh, it's 30 miles an hour, they changed it all there. So 30 miles an hour, there's no signs around, it's 30 miles an hour. Okay. Now, 30 miles an hour, fun fact, we are travelling about 13 metres per second. So, we've got eight seconds to do the whole thing, which we can split it down the middle of four seconds of, and that's 30 miles an hour, and that's zero. Four seconds of mirror, mirror, signal, position. Great. How far have we travelled in that time, then? So, four seconds of... 13 oh, metres 13, per second, yeah. 52, we'll call it, between friends, we'll call it 50 metres. Now, the speed down to here, we know look assess deciding that we're going to be crawling in. So it's going to be off the gas, slowing it down, and it's a little bit out of proportion. Half the speed, half the distance, half the average time. Four seconds of that, so it's going to be about half the average speed. 25 metres to do that, yeah? So all together, it's 75 metres to do that has a routine at 30 miles an hour. Okay. From the first mirror check to there. Great, let's go back to my student. So how long is it to eight seconds? Great, that's right. So, um... What does that mean when we did the equation? 75 metres. Fantastic. 75 metres at 30 miles an hour to get from there to make a decision to go. How far were you out from the right turn when you decided to start checking the mirrors? Don't know. Was it less than 75 metres? Yeah, yeah. It was a lot less. It was like 40 metres or so. So if that's 75 metres from there to there, okay. and you've started there, what do you think is going to happen if you start the routine here then rather back here? Well, it's too late. you're going yeah. too late, you're going too fast, you didn't have time to complete it. So that's the cause of a problem. So what, you just hold me at 75 metres and yet you started there. Why did you start late then? I guess I'm not very good at judging distance. Well, there we go, that's the root mm. cause of the problem. The reason you cut the corner turning right was because you're not very good at judging distance. Well, you need a remedy now. What are we going to do then? Tell you what, since you're a bit not the best at judging distance, that's no problem. Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't I spot you 75 metres, say, right, buy that lamppost, start your routine, or buy that car, or buy that dustbin, or whatever, until you've got used to distance. Great. Let's have another go. We got to the root cause of the problem. Now the thing is this. Let's let's. What symptoms have we had with your little two circuits there? Coming in too fast. Um, not looking. Yeah. Um, at the point of turn, how far should we be from the curb? You remember? Uh, doorway. When we're out up that end there, and we sort of went whoa around the corner and swan necked into the wrong side. What could happen if you swan necked onto the wrong side of the road? <laughs> <laughs> the cars going <laughs> the going cars. It's like the it's like cutting the corner, is it? Yeah. But the opposite. Same same simple effect. Yeah. How far from the curb at the point of turn were you when we went turning up at the top there? Do you think? Probably like I say a door and a bit or like no you're a lot less you're about that far from oh. it yeah 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 I now thought i was further over no so what you did there when you're turning in for example is came drifting over to there now you can't possibly get around there you've gone out rather oh. than coming across that corner you've sort of gone away you've missed your point of turn because uh, you've come over. Now, let's cut to the chase. Yeah. You've only got one problem. Mm -hmm. Just the one. You're jumping. And I say, I can sit here, I say this to every student, because every student is the same. You're jumping ahead of yourself. Now, essentially, what I've done is taught you a sequence. I, it's like, count, I've, I've taught you how to count to ten. Now, there's only one p big problem. Me teach you to count ten in the foreign language, and this, to you... And Meg, who's sitting there subconsciously, 10 scary. I'm about to enter a new road. And what happens is, the closer we get to 10, 10 in your mind gets bigger and bigger, and we panic and we jump ahead of ourselves. So, I don't know if I threw my book away there. At the point of turn, we're really skinning. What's happened is, well, you've jumped ahead of yourself, and you've started turning. Too early, you've jumped ahead of yourself ahead of time. We came down here, we're going too fast. You checked our mirrors, we came down here, and you thought, oh, there's a corner, I better start looking. Mm. 
and you didn't get the gear change, you literally jumped from speed, bypassed it, went to look. Yeah. We are over there. We came out of too much like this. <gasps> I've jumped ahead of myself. I haven't got the steer, but you're jumping ahead of yourself. So, how do we resolve that without it being overwhelming? Um, well, let's suppose you're jumping ahead of yourself. So at the moment, if I, if I, if I took it back to counting to 10 analogy, I would take it back to going, off you go then, Belle. One, two, three, ah, 10. <laughs> Have another go. One, two, three. Ah, ten. Yeah. And if I let you go round and round and round again, all we'd be doing for two hours is going one, two, three, screech, ten. Yeah. Okay. Now then, what comes after three? Four. Brilliant. So it's not a lack of education. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the sequence because you just told it to me. Yeah. So if you're going one, two, three, ah, ten, shall we just focus on getting to four? And four, getting to four only? Rather than worrying about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, so you're just going to focus getting to four this time, Belle. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, ah, ten. So you got to four. Brilliant. What's after four? Five. Okay, let's vote. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah, okay. Now, how far did we get? We got a lovely mirror check in, a lovely mirror check in, and you got this signal, and then we crept over to the left. Brilliant. So what we're going to do this time is focus on oh by the way if it's 75 meters at 30 miles now i don't really, i don't want you any faster than 20 miles an hour in second gear okay so if it's 75 meters to do 30 miles an hour how far out from the junction should we be at 20 miles an hour are you doing your maths level no no <laughs> um <laughs> can't tell so so if you were coming up and you were going to yeah, so it's th if, it, if it, 30 miles now we know we need to start the routine at 75 meters we just worked that out didn't we with our thing mm -hmm. so if it's 20 miles an hour well 20 is two thirds of 30 so therefore two thirds of 75 is 50 meters okay three lots of 25 makes 75 okay divided by three and times it by two so okay. 50 meters on this road is probably where do you think 50 meters is from from what? From the give way at the junction at the end of the, end of the road. Um, I'm thinking probably that lamppost on the right. I'm yeah, thinking of a running path. Before that, path. before the car. No, I'm thinking 50 meters. Not before well, it this way, I mean yeah. like after it. Well, no, I'm, I'm thinking of that lamppost there on the right. Or that, that junction. One? Yeah, that's about 50 meters from there to the gate. You see where the car is now? Mm -hmm. From there to there, 50 meters. So that's where I want you to start your hazard routine from. We'll go down here at 20 miles an hour, and when we reach, ha actually halfway across that junction, we're gonna start it by keeping the same speed and go mirror, mirror, signal position, and then we'll just focus on slowing it down in a straight line up to the point of turn. Then we'll see what happens after that. Okay. The next come off there, we'll keep it in first gear for now. When these get rid of the indicator, it's done its job. Come off the gas pedal. Let's get the, let's use this one as an idea of going, don't you see really drifting over to the left? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's a mirror, mirror turn. signal. Up, hands up, turn. Turn through. Turn, turn, turn. Looking, turning through. Right hand comes up and turns it down. Now, that's kind of what we were looking for. A little bit of gas and go. Checking your mirrors out. After we go, a little bit faster. And you're going to go up into second gear. So remember, it's clutch, gear, clutch for now. So there we are. We got to the root cause of the problem and we're having a lesson now building us up bit by bit that's our solution to our root cause of the problem of jumping ahead of ourselves you can apply this to any situation in driving uh, apply the principles of asking why 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 until you can't ask a why anymore you got to the root cause and uh, build it up so also please remember to like and subscribe the channel it really helps and also leave a comment it's always appreciated to get your feedback hope that was a useful video to you see you next time